What does pH stand for? Well, the short answer is probably power of hydrogen, but understanding that vague answer is gonna take a little bit more explaining. In the early 1900s, a Danish chemist named S. P. L. Sorensen was studying how changes in the amount of hydrogen ions in a solution would affect proteins. Since accurately recording the amount of hydrogen ions in this solution was a really important part of the experiment, he created a new term for it, which resulted in the very first iteration of the modern day pH scale. So this is where things get a little bit strange. <laughs> so some of the sources I was looking at say that Sorensen explains what the H in pH means, but not what the P means. And of these sources that say that, some of them say, oh, well, he was just going through the alphabet, naming the different parts of the experiment, and ended up on P for the part that was producing the hydrogen ions. And other ones say that, okay, well, maybe there was something that it meant, but since he wrote and spoke in three different languages, we don't really know what it was. So I had to get to the bottom of this myself, and I actually found his original paper discussing this whole experiment from 1909. And if you look closely here, you'll see that the word he uses is potens, which is the German word for power. So this begs the question now, why did people think that there wasn't a meaning for the P in PH, even though he explicitly explained what it means in his paper? Well, as time passed, the letter P wasn't really explained in papers, and since it wasn't critically important to learn, its meaning just kind of became a bit lost. The way that pH is actually written changed as well. It started out like this when Sorensen first did it, and then it changed to this, and then to this, and now it's this today. If Sorensen were still here, I wonder what he would think of all these changes. Well, if you have any other burning unanswered questions you'd like to see answered, just drop them down in the comments and maybe I'll get to them. But at the very least, now you know what pH stands for.